It's like Madai University, Madai College announcing it's closing. It's not totally surprising because of the way that the educational field is right now. We probably have too many institutions of higher education in Erie County based on the size of our population. I was hoping that Madai would survive, but it, it may not be the only one. There could be others in the future, and you're seeing this across the country. Uh, and a lot of this is impacted post-COVID. What happened in COVID, the losses that accumulated in COVID, I think some of that was influential with regard to Athenex as well. Uh, I don't want to say companies come and go because there are companies that can survive, but it's very difficult, especially in an area like pharmaceuticals, where if you have a product and it, it doesn't, re doesn't get FDA approval or does get an FDA approval but doesn't reach the level of success as they thought it was, that's going to have an impact on the bottom line, and it certainly did with Athenex. Not to my knowledge, no. Since you went down that road, Erie Community College. Yes. Uh, I remember a year ago getting a quote from you saying if they don't get their act together, basically, they could go out of business. Have they straightened things out in your opinion? Are well, there's always more work to do. Uh, SUNY Erie has, has gotten its act together uh, because of the actions that were taken by the former president and the current interim. Uh, president, they're in a much stronger financial position than they were a year, a year and a half ago. Uh, I was actually very worried about the financial future of SUNY Erie. They, they needed to straighten some things out, and with the assistance of the county they have, we offered assistance to do uh, uh, early retirement incentives for many of the uh, faculty and, and administrators who are very high salaried. Uh, so we, we were able to provide them savings there. They actually had to do some cutbacks. Uh, I, 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 there's more work that needs to be done. There's no doubt about it. We have to address some of these issues with having multiple programs over multiple campuses and, and treating it as one college. Too often it had been treated as three colleges, which it's not. It's one college. And I think there's been a tremendous amount of effort that's gone in to remind everybody it's one college. You shouldn't have three of the same programs over all three campuses and then only have eight students in a class when you could combine them and have 16 students in a class. And then you don't have to spend as much money, which is part of what was going on at the college. Uh, the former president, President Balkan, did do some great work to do that. The current president, uh, the interim president, Adi of Sagai, is working on that as well. So I feel better about SUNY Aries' future than I did a year and a half ago when it just their actions weren't being taken. And it just goes to show that if you really bite the bullet and do what's necessary and right, you can see a turnaround in a short period of time. Uh, SUNY Erie has issues. There's enrollment issues that still have to be addressed. Uh, we do not have as many college-age students as we did in the past. And when you don't have as many college-age students as you did in the past, but you have the same number of institutions or they're growing and trying to grow, there's a smaller uh, piece of the pie for everyone. And that's, I think, part of the problem with Medai is they were dealing with the enrollment issues just like others. And, and, I, and there's other colleges, I don't want to say names, but there's other colleges that I'm aware of in our community that are dealing with difficult times, uh, especially the smaller liberal arts colleges. You're seeing colleges close across the, the country. Casanova College in upstate New York, a very well-known liberal arts college, is closing. They just can't meet the demand and the cost of education with the number of students. So I, I, I hope that Madai's the last. I hope it's the last. I hope I that, that the, the students are able to find other institutions to complete their studies and the, the faculty and staff are able to find uh, positions elsewhere. But it, it would not surprise me to see additional closers in, in the next few years across the country, but hopefully not here. If it did happen, it wouldn't shock me, but I believe SUNY Erie is in a much better position today than they were a year and a half ago. Uh, it is a very more work being done. Uh, the the Madai location is a very important location uh, at the end of Agassiz Circle and, and actually right behind Canisius College. I know there's been a, I have not talked to the representatives from Canisius. They might be interested in the property. Uh, I know they're always looking to grow, and that's right next to their campus. So I would not be surprised if there's conversations between Canisius and Madai. I can't say that there are for certain because I'm, I'm not certain. I'm just speculating, and I generally don't like to speculate, but that would make the most sense. Uh, but, yeah, it's a very important parcel of land. 
Uh, and as an institution of higher education, it was centrally located in the city, right near the subway uh, that uh, ends right on the corner, or right by the Skajakwita there. So uh, I hope that it will uh, be utilized very soon. And uh, once again, that the students are able to transition to finish their studies and that the faculty and staff will be able to move into other positions, but I know it's not easy because, as I said, there are, there are difficulties in higher education today.